Hey everybody, this is David Barnyard Bees. When a lot of you new beekeepers walk up on your hives and you see this, what's the first thing you think? A lot of people will send me pictures and they'll say, hey look, looks like my hive's getting ready to swarm. No, they're not swarming. They got plenty of room. They got a new super on top. And when you go inside, they're not completely completely packed out they got plenty of room they're still drawing out frames what it is when the temperatures get like it is today it's probably pushing 90 degrees today very hot that these uh these bees are hot and they'll come out and they'll try to cool themselves so when you see this you know there's a difference between this is what they call bearding your bees are bearding see they're fanning look here on on the, on the very front of the entrance right there. See their wings going? Well, that's what they're doing. They're, they're coming out to cool down a little bit because bees generate heat and it's cooler out here than it is in there at the moment. And also, they're fanning and trying to cool down the hive. Look how they're hanging here. I'm sure they're even, yeah, look here. They're even, they're even up around this side quite a bit. Maybe you can see them just a little bit better right here fanning. I've done this trick before, see if it works. Stand right in front of the hive like this. These bees are so gentle most of the time. Some, even nice bees are grumpy some of the time, as I've probably showed in videos when it's rainy or cloudy or a dreary day. Uh, being in dearth, you know, we're coming into dearth, they could be a little bit grumpy because bees are confined and there's not as much, they're not working as hard. And bees are happy when it's hot and when they're working. They love to work. Let's see if they're building up here behind me. See them coming in now. There you can see a few coming in. They're, they're not out foraging too much. They're just not a whole lot to pick from. Even the clover right now is kinda, there's not a lot of it. We did have a lot, a lot of clover and this kinda died down quite a bit. So, the bees are just kind of <laughs> hanging out, I guess you'd say. Trying to stay cool. Look at that yellow jacket. I hope they kill him. I hate those things. Two of those stung me a little while ago. They're, I ran into a nest and it was in a wood pile and I didn't know it. And the difference while we're talking about it, the difference between getting stung by a honeybee and stung by a yellow jacket, because some people look at honeybees and they think, how can you take their stings? Well, honeybees, when they sting you, It'll hurt for just a couple minutes, if that long. Sometimes not at all. A yellow jacket stings you, you're going to be hurting the rest of the day. My, my legs uh, swelled up behind my knee where it got me and my ankle, and it still hurts. It feels just like it did when they stung, and that's been hours ago. So that's a big difference between honeybees. I'd rather get stung by 20 honeybees than one yellow jacket. <laughs> but I just thought I'd put that out there. Thanks, folks. Don't forget, help share our videos. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Barnyard Beast.